the Labor Party is rallying around independent MP Tony Windsor, who backs up the Gillard government. It's targeting the man the Nationals want to defeat Mr Windsor at the next election. A Labor official claims Richard Torbay discussed joining the party to become New South Wales Premier three years ago, but Mr Torbay disputes that version of events. Here's political correspondent Greg Jennett. Great honour. He's nothing if not adaptable. Six years ago, Richard Torbay stood for wiping out the Nationals. Last week, he became one. Good luck. Thank you. The New South Wales Independent decided federal parliament doesn't need independence, so he wants to remove Tony Windsor from it. Well, look, I don't think it's, it's personal. I think that the independents generally uh, have inflicted a lot of damage. But just what sort of politician is the National Party getting? The fact is, Mr Torbay was prepared to rejoin the Labor Party less than three years ago if a deal could be done for him to become Premier absolutely a creation and it's a lie and it, it just shows you that they will do and say anything. It was 2009. Labor was about to dump its Premier and hadn't quite settled by then on Christina Keneally as the replacement. Everyone agrees Richard Torbay spoke to the ALP about signing him up, but any meeting with Sam Dastiari on the eve of the leadership ballot is seriously in dispute. It's very convenient for Mr Torbay to pretend that these events didn't occur. The fact is they did occur, I know, because I was there. This is the, the spin that's being put on it uh, in order to try and uh, define me. Reputation's very much at stake for Parliament's other high-profile independent, Peter Slipper. The government's convinced a Liberal plot will be exposed as the federal court delves into the sexual harassment case against him. Because the Commonwealth believes that there are other motives here, that there are political motives, and that argument was put in the court on Friday. The Liberal, who wants Mr Slipper's seat, is promising full cooperation with the court. Uh, look, I'll just provide all of my emails and all of my uh, text messages and others can judge whether any of that was inappropriate. Opponents already have. Greg Jennett, ABC News, Canberra.